Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Ren Dog coming at you from a little real life update video because it's been about a week or so since I uploaded and I know that some of you guys out there are worried. I know that because you guys have been sending me emails, man. And some of you guys have been saying, Ren Diggity Dog, did you die? And if I did die, guys, I wouldn't be able to reply to you, so kind of silly email to send, you know what I'm saying, people? <laughs> but in the background of today's video, my friends, you're going to be watching me play a little bit of Heroes of the Storm, which is a new game from Blizzard that is currently in beta, and man, it is a ton of fun. And if you guys enjoy the footage of the background in this video, let me, go, let me know in the comment section below, man. Maybe we'll make a little mini-series on it or something like that, because it's actually a really awesome, uh, awesome game. It's basically a game that's very similar to Dota, and uh, you know a couple weeks ago we spoke about Dota and the, the role that Dota played in my life and I uninstalled that bad boy man I didn't want any more uh, positive regression going on with Dota and I found Heroes of the Storm which is a very nice replacement for Dota it's the same genre as that game but instead of a game taking an hour it takes 20 minutes which is awesome so you can I can get my little fix you know a couple games in and I'm done and uh, there's also much less raging uh, that goes on in this game which is really really awesome it's uh, it's one of those easy to learn hard to master kind of games and man i'm digging it something fierce but anyway guys it has been a pretty crazy week uh, in my life man and now is it is now the 23rd of april 2015 and for the last 10 days things have been going cray cray up in my life man damn and uh, i hope you guys just sit back and relax and uh, and, and listen <laughs> first and foremostly as most of you guys know that have been watching my survival series i had a little uh, to do shall we say with my landlord who wasn't very happy with the noise that was coming out of my flat and you know i kind of understand why uh, i do make a lot of noise i do shout a lot and i am a youtuber and to tell you the, the honest truth, that would drive even the most friendly and nicest of landlords absolutely freaking cray cray. Um, but you know, it was a, an incident that kind of knocked the wind out of me last week, man. It kind of kind of knocked me over. And um, it was almost like somebody pushed me over the edge of this massive stair that I was climbing in that at that moment. And uh, I was going to take a huge ass tumble. But you know what, guys? The Cyberdog Nation came together like a giant ass global transformer, man. You guys were like, you're connected up all over the show. And you guys shot a freaking grappling hook out of your transformer chest grabbed my foot and caught me as I was falling down that stair, man. And I got back up and I am rocking, baby. Since uh, that little altercation with my landlord, I have taken some pretty drastic steps to soundproof my flat. I spent a bit of money on getting a whole bunch of acoustic foam, which was um, what a lot of you guys recommended I do. And I basically acoustically, acoustically foamed the entire two walls of my flat where I record. And Maybe my voice sounds even better now, uh, now that it's all up. It should sound a lot more crisp and a lot more clear. And that's because it, it sounds different actually when I'm talking now. And it's because of this acoustic foam dampens the bass. And it was the bass of my voice, the boom, that was uh, driving my landlord freaking cray cray. So um, I covered my walls with this acoustic foam. It's looking absolutely crazy. It, it's not the prettiest looking thing, I'm, I must say. It does look kind of cool though. Maybe I'll take a picture, stick it on Twitter for you guys, man. But um, that was the first step that I took to deal with the sound problem. The second step was one evening I went down, knocked on the door. And you know what? I just sat down with my landlord and had a good old conversation with them. Um, my landlord made me a cup of tea, gave me a, a slice of cake, uh, called down the manager, and we sat down and had a chat about everything basically and i explained to them that this whole youtube thing that i do is a very important part of my life it's something that i've done for a very long time something that i'm going to do for a very long time and i don't want to give it up for anything and i also don't want to change the way that i record i don't want to have to try and speak softer i want to be myself on on the videos and try and be as energetic as possible because that's the kind of person that i am and uh, we ate some cake we drank some freaking delicious tea mm, man it was awesome and uh, we basically came to an agreement that I would not record after 9 p.m. at night. And on Sundays, um, I wouldn't record between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., which is when um, my landlady 
um, has her friends over for tea and they all sort of sit in the garden and drink tea and, ha and have a nice time. And, and they don't want to hear some YouTuber bellowing um, <laughs> out of the top story of their house while they're trying to enjoy the beautiful summer that we're having in England right now. So we came to a great compromise and I think the soundproofing is working. I'm going to be giving it a run this weekend, getting back to some normal scheduled broadcasting on the on the Rendog channel. And we will see how it goes, guys. I will keep you updated, but I'm very happy with where we're at now with the soundproofing. I think that we can cross that one off. And I just want to thank all of you cyber diggity dogs out there who sent me emails, Facebook messages, tweets. There was like 350 comments on the video. Oh man, you guys are so awesome. And you guys all picked me up, lifted me up on top of your shoulders once again. And instead of going down a hole and getting all negative, I got all freaking positive, took positive steps to rectify the situation. And I've done it, man. And it is sweet. So that is the one thing out the back. Now let's move on to the next thing. Um, <laughs> well, let's see. How, how, how do we start this? Well, on Thursday last week, I got a little bit of bad news from my boss at work. And essentially what my boss told me was, uh, he said, Rendog, I got some bad news for you, son. Our account that we're working on right now might not last longer than a week. We're having some problems with our client. And uh, next Friday might be our last day working together. And I was like, damn, man, that is, uh, that is pretty bad news, uh, which basically means tomorrow, Friday the 24th of April, might be my last day working in this current job that I'm at. I'm, I will only know uh, sort of end of play tomorrow whether or not I still have the job. Now, the last time that this kind of jazz happened um, <laughs> was ironically the same, the same time, sort of last uh, two years ago, uh, April, when, when everything sort of started to explode around me, right? And I made a pact with myself this time, guys, that I wasn't gonna let this bring me down. And I wasn't gonna let this kind of thing stop me on my freaking climb to the top and stop me achieving and stop me being, uh, you know, all that I could be in this freaking world. And I decided to take some drastic and very important steps to make sure that if I lose my job tomorrow, I will be able to get another job within the next couple of weeks so that I can carry on making YouTube videos, so that I can carry on paying my rent, so that I can carry on living and enjoying this freaking life. Whereas two years ago, I literally just gave up, threw in the towel and played Dota for six months. <laughs> this time around, uh, I'm doing things much, much differently. And I actually very um, fortunately managed to pick up a freelance contract um, and what I was doing was working on a website for a client and that freelance contract is is, uh, pay, is paying me enough to sort of look after the bills for the next sort of month and a half, which is really awesome. So if I do lose my job tomorrow, I'm going to have a little bit of cash in the bank uh, over the next six or six to eight weeks where I can find another job and still make YouTube videos and not be stressed about it and still be able to pay my rent and my bills and all of that sort of thing. So even though we had this big explosion of you might lose your job, within a couple of days, I got this really awesome opportunity to pick up a little bit of uh, a freelance work that's going to look after me for the next uh, month and a half while I potentially have to find something else. So that is the second thing, guys. And uh, basically what I've been doing for the last week or so is just getting my CV out there, getting all my agents out there to know that the Ren Diggity Dog is looking for some work. And, uh, <laughs> you know, um, just been making sure that I keep 100% focused. I've basically finished that freelance contract now. It was only for a week. Um, and I finished off the project now. I've delivered it, delivered it to the client. They're extremely happy. I'm going to get paid. Damn. And uh, that means that this weekend, guys, I can get back to doing some serious recording on the Rendog channel. It means we can get back to some regular broadcasting up in here from Monday the 20... What is it? Monday the 20... Man, I don't even know what Monday is. Monday the 27th. That's when we're going to get back to some regular broadcasting. That means Minecraft Survival. That means Kingdom Craft. And that means Hearthstone, potentially Heroes of the Storm. And maybe something new is a coming up. You guys heard it here first. I'm not going to be uh, giving away any freaking spoilers, though, my friends. You're going to have to keep your eyeballs peeled on this channel. And, um, yeah, I suppose that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about, guys. just wanted to let you guys know that I am fine. Do not stress. Everything is cool. Everything um, kind of exploded, but the explosion has 
passed. The wind, the winds have blown away the smoke, and uh, the phoenix has risen, baby. And uh, I'm going to hopefully at the end of tomorrow know that I still have a job and then you know what all of this is for nothing and I can just delete this video if not well then you and I are going to go on a little bit of an adventure over the next couple coming weeks to try and find ourselves a job man I'm going to take you guys with me every step of the way and uh in the meantime we're going to be recording freaking awesome YouTube videos man and th that's basically it guys um what else I, I I think that I think we've covered everything that I wanted to talk about in today's um well in this little episode thingy and um yeah, if you guys enjoyed me playing Heroes of the Storm, let me know in the, in the comment section below, man. Maybe we'll do something, a little something, something with that. Oh, yes, yes. I wanted to make an announcement because some of you guys out there might not already know this news unless you have been following the Kingdom Craft series on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't been following the Kingdom Craft series on my YouTube channel, well, let me tell you something, my friends. I'm a, I'm a sharpen something like a pickaxe. And I'm going to deliver it directly between the crack. Yes. Go and watch the Kingdom Craft videos. They are awesome. And you know why they're awesome? Because we are currently playing Minecraft with some epic awesome people on YouTube. We are playing with Python GB, SKL85, Cubfan135 and Krillic on a SMP server, which is a Minecraft survival server. And uh, we are building kingdoms and it is awesome. But you know what, man? You know what's even more awesome? Me and some of the Kingdom Crafters, we are going to Minecon 2015 as a group. How freaking sweet is that? Oh man, the, my, Minecon this year is in London at the Excel Center from the 4th to the 5th of July, which means it's basically just up the, the road from me. Man, I could throw a freaking stone at the Excel Center from here, which is epic. Cubfan135 is coming all the way across the ocean to come and hang with us. Iskull's coming all the way from Sweden to come and hang with us. Python's coming all the way from the north of England to come and hang with us. And unfortunately, Krillik's not going to be there because uh, I, he couldn't make it. But he's going to be there in spirit. And guys, we're going to have a whole bunch of awesome stuff to give you, man. We're going to have t-shirts. We're going to have coasters. We're going to have hats. And you guys can come and say hello to us. And hopefully, you guys are fans of, of, of one of us or all of us or some of us and man this is your opportunity to come and say hello to come and meet your favorite uh, youtubers your favorite kingdom crafters in the freaking flesh man and uh, we're going to be there fanboying out ourselves because it's going to be loads of awesome youtubers there loads of awesome minecrafters and it's just going to be an absolutely awesome weekend so if you are going to minecon 2015 my friends you need to come and say hello to me and the kingdom crafters i'm hoping some cyber dogs are going to join us also and uh, that would just be epic if we could just have a giant group of kingdom crafters and cyber dogs Dogs. Just, just taking over Minecon, man. Just wrecking havoc up in the jazz. You know what I'm saying, man. Just walking around, going, going cray cray. Well, in a, in a good, nice, controlled manner, of course. Not, not. I'm not talking about riots here, people. I'm just talking about being awesome. Just owning the place, right? It's like step aside. Kingdom Craft and the Cyber Dog Nation has arrived. <laughs> oh man, it is going to be so awesome, guys. And you know what? The, the crazy thing is that I almost didn't get a ticket to Minecon. Um, it, we, we, the, the, the tickets went on sale in like the first week that I started recording with the Kingdom Craft crew, and we were on the server recording. And, and uh, Iskal asked the question, guys, shall we go to Minecon? And everyone was like, yes, let's go to Minecon. And then the tickets came on sale in two batches. The first batch was on sale on, on like the Friday and then the second batch was on the next day I think and we all timed it we were talking on Skype and we we're like okay guys we're gonna all buy a ticket at exactly the same time and uh, that way we can all buy tickets and we can all go to Minecon and it's gonna be sweet and we were like yes okay let's do this so we went to the website to buy the ticket and there was like a countdown timer you know like 10 9 8 7 6 tickets available in five seconds and as the tickets be became available, Python, Cub, and Iskull pressed, click the buy button faster than the Ren Diggity Dog. And they each got a ticket. And guess what, guys? I didn't get a freaking ticket, man. <laughs> they all got a ticket and I got a sorry ticket sold out message. And man, I was bummed. Let me tell you, man. I was, I was not happy about that. I, uh, I was trying to buy it at work also. So I just went home after work. Totally bummed that I couldn't go to... Um, go to Comic-Con with um, my, I mean Minecon, sorry, with my Kingdom Craft crew. And as I was walking home, I got a message on Skype on my phone from Iskal saying, dude, guess what? And I was like, what bro? And he was like, I got you a ticket. A second batch became available and I bought you a ticket. And I was like, yes, sweet. 
So uh, the Kingdom Craft crew managed to get me a ticket in the end. And uh, we are all going, guys. It's going to be absolutely epic. And I really hope to see some of you guys there, man. It's going to be sweet. All right. Is that everything that I want to talk about today? Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, I almost freaking forgot, man. <laughs> My game. My game. My game is almost finished. <laughs> Can you believe it, guys? It is almost freaking finished. Oh, man, it is so awesome. I'm so excited to get this game out once and for all. It's been like three years that I've been working on this freaking thing. Um, but we are basically ready, guys, to go into uh, a, an open beta again. And, oh, man, I'm going to give you guys all the details probably this week. And I'll make a little video uh, if, for those of you guys who want to participate in the open beta of my game. It's going to be awesome. Can't give any, any, way de any details away now, guys, because I'm testing the latest APK, making sure that it's 100% ready for public consumption. And I'm hoping that on the 1st of May 2015, I'm going to release my game into the world. And uh, who knows what's going to happen, man. Hopefully it's going to be awesome. And uh, if not, it was, man, it was an awesome learning experience. Let me tell you something. Anyway, my friends, thank you so much for listening to me rabble on for the last 30 minutes or so. And uh, we will see you in the next video, which is going to start from Monday next week. See you, my friends.